we're going to be talking about passing the open guard this week, okay? And this is a series from the headquarter position, okay? So what's the headquarter position? John, can I use you? Okay. John's going to be on his back. I've already opened up his guard, okay? Let's say maybe I started from his full guard, all right? So I was able to stand up, open his guard, but then from there, he was able to maybe retract his legs, so I wasn't able to pass right from opening up his guard. Does that, that make sense? Okay. So we're going to get into situations like this, right, where he's, his legs are in between us, right? So I can do like fast style passings where I can just kind of grab his legs, throw them one way and move the other and, and pass that way, okay? I mean, as the level starts to get like, pretty even with yours, it's going to be a lot harder to do that, okay? So we're going to need to find a way to kind of like have a lot of connection with the person and then work to slowly work to pass their guard, okay? Uh, that's going to be from the headquarter position. So the basic headquarter position is I'm going to have one leg in between his and one leg outside and his is vice versa. So it's kind of 50-50 right now, okay? What I want to do is I want to use this inside leg and I want to pressure that same side hamstring with my shin. So notice how it's kind of turning his hips one way, okay? Just like this. Okay. Perfect other leg here I want to actually sit on it more or less with the you know with my butt okay so after I step in we'll get to how we can get to this position but I want to be here okay so I'm pressuring his uh, hamstring with my shin and I'm kind of like sitting on his um, his foot okay another another reason why when we do our warm-ups we want to work on that squat flexibility okay because when I get to that deep squat I want to avoid being on my heel or off my heels okay when I want to be stable and I want to be strong I want to have flat feet when I want to be mobile and start to move then I want to be on my toes but I want to know you know when to do that okay so if I'm in this position right here and I squat down and my heels come off the ground yeah if he starts to kind of use that foot to start to kick and elevate me and I'm on my toes I'm probably gonna to start to go or put my hands on the mat and that could give him an opportunity to you know, sweep or start attacking maybe my legs. So when I'm in this position right here, I want to be able to sit nice and strong in a good squat. So if he tries to use this inside foot to elevate me, it's going to be a lot harder. So the lower I can squat, the more weight I can put on that um, inside foot, I'm going to have a better, stronger position. And then from there, I can start to work to pass the guard from there. Okay. So today we're going to work on a, a very simple leg uh, weave drill, leg pummeling drill. Okay. So a lot of times after I've opened up his guard, he's going to be able to it's gonna hook the inside of my knees like this, right? So I can't get to that headquarter position very easily, okay? And if I try to pass his guard one way or another, these hooks are gonna stop me, okay? So if I wanna to try to pass to John's uh, to my left, this hook right here is gonna prevent me from doing it, and vice versa. So I, I'm not gonna just sit here and just keep circling, right? So I need, to, I need to battle this position right here. So I need to beat his feet first. Right now his feet are stopping me from getting into headquarter position, okay? So we're gonna do a very simple drill, and, and this could be, you know, the feet can be here, right? He could be playing some kind of like De La Hiva positions, right? We'll get into those type of different guards, you know, in time. But from here, we're gonna just start with these hooks guard right here, where he's got two feet behind my knees. And I really want the person to really curl their toes back to really give the good resistance. Okay, now I wanna have a good base, the same idea. Okay, I don't wanna just stand up tall. It's gonna give him the option of maybe kicking one leg through and starting to attack legs and stuff like that. Okay, so when I'm in this position, he's got these hooks, I wanna have a little bit of a base to me. Okay? I always want to be stronger when I'm a little bit lower, especially because he's on, the, on his back. Okay? So I want to kind of be a little bit lower to match that level. Okay? Now from here, I need to work to get one leg in between. So very similar to when we were doing our clinch, how we pummeled with, the, with our hands to gain that inside position, I'm going to pummel with my feet. Okay? Learning how to pummel in, in uh, but, uh, sorry, windshield wipe with your feet without needing to use your hands okay? is going to be a benefit. Right? So I want to use my hands to do other things. So from here, I want to battle his feet with my feet. So real simple, I'm just going to attach to his shins, right? The side that I want the leg to go in the middle, that knee, I want to turn it to the floor, start to smash that, uh, that ankle right there. Okay. So I'm turning on my uh, toes. I'm smashing that position. Then once I've dropped his heel a bit, I want to bring my heel to my butt and then windshield wipe from my foot inside. Okay, so watch here. I drop the knee, I bring my butt or my heel to my butt, and then I swim inside. Okay, so now that's my inside foot. Then I want to make sure that I push nice and strong with that against my shin against his, his hamstring. Okay, and it's just starting to kind of like tilt his base a little bit, right? When he, again, like we always talk about, when the person's lined up, they're structurally strong. Okay, if I can do anything to start to kind of like tweak his, his hips, it's gonna make him a little bit weaker, it's gonna give me a better opportunity to pass. Okay, so we're just gonna approach. He's gonna hook the inside of my, my knees. Control the knee, uh, control the shin, drop one knee down, and then heel comes to butt, and I circle my foot inside, okay? You practice both sides, okay? So we're just learning how to get to the headquarter position. So 
my approach, he hooks, other side. Drop the knee down, bring the heel to my butt, and then I'm here, okay? Here, one, two. All right, so I'm pressuring the shin, and then I wanna sit down on the, on the foot right here. Yeah, if he's got a good flex to his toes, I can feel like it's like a little seat right there. Perfect, okay? Now, once I've gotten to the headquarter position, I wanna control this leg right here. All right, I just like to kind of like cup it and pull the knee in front. Okay, if I don't control that knee, he's just gonna be able to kind of pull his knee to his chest and put his foot right back on my hip. And now I gotta battle that foot again. Okay, once you've beat the feet, you don't wanna allow him to bring his foot back in. So think of passing the guard as like small little steps. So I gotta beat his feet first. And then from there, I gotta beat the knees. And then I gotta beat the hips. And then from there, I can start to smash the face and work to really pass the guard. Boom. Push, step in, and now I'm here. Cup the knee that's in the middle, and then the other knee, the shin, the one that's uh, against his hamstring, I wanna find his hip or find his chest, and then I wanna keep this connection between my knee and elbow very strong. I wanna own this space right here. I don't wanna be here like this. Space between my knee and elbow is no good. It's very easy for him to just turn his knee inside, and now I gotta work on beating that knee again. Okay? So hook. Control the shin, windshield wiper the foot, step into my headquarter position, okay? This foot gets caught in the, the pants sometimes, okay? And then we're here, perfect, all right? And I just wanna feel solid right here. First thing, kinda of move around a little bit, all right? Just feel like you can move around this position and I can be nice and strong, okay? Again, I don't want him to be able to bring his feet back in front and get in between me and him, right? Once I, once I earn an inch, I don't want to give him an inch back. All right? I keep earning inches until I can find checkmate. Right here. Drop the knee down. All right, don't just try to pull the leg back. I'm running into his, you know, his uh, instep right there. So I drop the knee down, and then I circle my foot around it. And then we're here. Perfect. Okay? From here, I can pass either way I want. Okay? And that's the good thing about this headquarter position. It's a nice central location, right? headquarters, where... I can pass left or right if I want to. Okay, so let's just kind of get comfortable here in this headquarter position and practice our leg pummeling, windshield wiper, okay? All right, let's find part number four. So, again, if, he's, if we start with that kind of hooks position behind the knees, that's just one way we can get into the headquarter position, okay? If he had maybe like the feet to my hips, maybe I like push one foot down and step in and I'm in my headquarters here, okay? If he had his legs on the outside, like this, right? Same idea, maybe I step back, I push one foot down, and now I'm in the headquarter. Okay, so there's a lot of different ways that we can get there. Okay, this one's just fun because it kind of teaches us how to work that windshield wiper um, mechanic with our legs, okay? So we're here, again, every time we, do, whatever pass we do, we're always gonna start right here. We gotta work our, our windshield wiper, our foot pummel, and then we get here. Okay, perfect, okay? So again, I have the option of going one way or another, left or right, okay? And the nice thing about this series is that we're gonna cover three basic passes that really kind of like fit together with each other. So and if you have one pass, great, it'll work, but then as the person starts to get kind of, you know, smart to it, it's gonna be hard to get that one pass. So you have to have like a plan B and a plan C, okay? It doesn't matter which one you start with. All three of these uh, that we're gonna do, you can start with whatever one you like the most, okay? But then know that as the person starts to get smart to that pass, you're gonna to need to use that second and then third pass to kind of you know combine with it so that it's gonna be hard for him to defend all three kind of passes at one time. Okay? So okay, enough talking. First one we're gonna do is gonna do our smash pass. Okay, so once we've gotten into this position, I feel nice and strong. Okay, what I want to work to do is I want to work to push this knee that's in front of my chest across my center line. Okay, push the knee across the center line. Now from here, look, I'm gonna turn my hips so now my chest and my hips are gonna be pushing down on the knee, okay? I'm not just keeping my, I'm not just completely pushing with my arm. I'm battling my arm against his leg. It's probably not gonna be, you know, self-successful. So once I get that past center line, now look how I turn my chest. And now I'm using my chest and my hips and my whole body. I'm gonna sprawl my hips down to the mat as I turn my face the other direction. So once I've started the initial push and I start pushing his knee to the round, I'm gonna rotate my hips, okay? So now I'm kind of at this angle on him. I got his legs in between mine. Okay, so I'm kind of sandwiching his legs in between mine. And my hips are all the way is on my hips. My legs are far, far back. 
Okay? My knees are touching the ground, but there's very, very little weight. I don't want to get here and then pull my knees closer to my, my elbows. Okay? There's no weight on his knee right now. He's going to start to use his legs to extend me away. Right? Start to extend me away, turn back inside, and now he's got his shin back in front. Okay? So once I get to the smash position, I want to make sure that my weight is nice and heavy on top of his, his knee, his IT band right here. So we're here. I do my windshield wiper. Drop the knee, circle the foot, step into my headquarter position right here. Push it across, turn my chest. Look, as I drop, once I get here, I start to turn in the direction that I want, right here. Right? I'm kind of staying more towards the hips. I'm not too quick to reach for the head right away. I want to smash the hips right here. Okay? Perfect. And he's going to be like pushing on my face. Are these little, these little mini battles right here? Okay? So, Here's what I want to do. I'm going to just back off a little bit so you can see what I'm going to try to do with my feet. This leg that's on the back side. What I want to do is I want to work to split his legs. Okay? So his bottom knee, or his bottom leg, is kind of on this side of my, of my leg, and the top knee is on this side. So I'm sandwiching his legs together. Okay? So that's the first kind of little footwork. And there's a lot of different ways you can pass once you get to that smash position, but this one's really good because it gives us the mount kind of right away. Okay. Then once I'm ready, I'm going to try to battle this space right here. Right? Again, that's why I'm using my legs separate from my hands. Because my hands are going to be doing a different job, and my legs are doing a different job. So if I always need my hands to, to do something with my legs, right, I'm not going to be able to work independently. Okay? So we're here. Once I'm smashed, right, I get this thing in front. Now I start to make space for this near side elbow. If you can keep this near side elbow strong, I'm not going to be able to get the knee inside. He's always going to own the space right here. All right, so I'm here. I'm working to open his elbow, and I want to sandwich his top knee now. Okay, now if you look here, my knee is in his stomach. All right, and I'm sandwiching this, this top leg in between my legs. Okay, over here. Boom. All right, and now when I'm ready, as, as long as I sandwich this nice and strong, and I have my knee up against his hip, right, all I got to do is this top side leg is just kind of step right over, and now I'm in the mount position. All right, real easy. So that's a nice little follow through with that smash pass. Windshield wiper, we're here. Headquarter position, nice and strong. Push, look, right here. I'm using my chest, my hips. The last second, I start to rotate through. And now I'm here, heavy, heavy, heavy. Okay, we're here, we're battling. All right, see, I'm already starting to find this near side elbow. All right, I wanna own that position. So I'm here, knee comes in between, we're battling, we're battling. Knee comes in the middle, and then I step right over to the mount. And I passed his guard. Right? The whole time I was smashing nice and heavy. Okay? And I was not too quick to, to pass right away to the mount. I was using that position to smash, cook the person a little bit. It's a great position to throw some ground and pound, right, if needed. Okay. So we're here with the hooks guard. I go windshield wiper, headquarters. And smash pass. Right from here. Hug the hip. Hips nice and heavy right here. Boom, if I need to. Okay. And then when I'm ready, Work on scooping this elbow up so I can gain the space right here. I can go underhook too. All right, I can walk the underhook out just to get that space there. Knee goes in the middle. And then when I'm ready, I sandwich the top leg. Again, every position right here, I can hold. And when I'm ready, step right over into the mount. And now I'm here. Okay. One more time. Kind of more full speed. Right here. Right here. Questions? All right, let's play with it. When you're in the um, when you're into the headquarter position, if you feel the opportunity to be able to drop into half guard, that's always a good idea. Also, okay, and then you can pass from half guard. Half guard is nice because it allows me to really work on getting my underhook and cross face, and then work to pass. Right when I'm in the smash position, right, I don't want to be too quick to reach for the head. Okay, but if I'm in the headquarter position, however I got there, right, if I see the opportunity of dropping into half guard. All right, smashing the hips. Now from here is good because I can start to work to get to the head, and then I can work to pass my, you know, pass his guard afterward. Okay. So if you ever feel that half guard is, is available, drop right down into it. Okay. His half guard is basically, you know, getting past his knees and his feet for sure. Right. And we're here. Right? If I can get to this kind of half guard, I'm almost guaranteed that his knees are not going to get in between. He can, 
he, there's little mini battles. He can start to shrimp out, make space, get his knee inside, then I gotta deal with that shin shield. Okay, like again, there's, there's no perfect scenario in anything. He can constantly make space that he needs to and change the whole, uh, you know, the whole game. So it's no problem. So if you see the opportunity when you're in that head guard position to drop into half guard and smash the hips from there, then we can continue to pass. Okay, but we're just working kind of more open guard. So head guard position, right? We try to smash, right? So we start on, we start pushing this knee across, but he's he's doing a really good job of fighting that. Right? He's got strong legs. So as I start to turn, I'm like, yeah, I can feel that resistance, right? So instead of keep trying to push it this way as it's resisting, when I feel that resistance, watch this hand's gonna come from. <laughs> the outside of the knee to the inside of the knee. Okay, so now I'm gonna push in the opposite direction because it's where he's, he's pushing against it, yeah. See, very small little subtle movements. Again, we got the gi on, right? You can, be, you can use the material, you can grab, you can grab, makes it a little bit easier, but again, just relying on the knee by itself I think is a better option and your grip can be supplementary to it, okay? But just, I don't like relying on the grips. So it's here, see the difference, see? I'm pushing and now I'm pulling. Or, I'm sorry, I'm pushing this way and now I'm pushing that way. Okay, so it's just a small little movement of my hand. And now I can change the direction of my force. Okay, so we're gonna go to knee cut. So now, instead of my knee driving this way, it's gonna come across and drive this way. Okay, so there's a little bit of footwork to it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And it's very important. This is why initially I was talking about this knee to elbow connection right here. This has gotta become a strong shield. Okay. As I do this transition, I can't let any space open up between my knee and elbow. As I do that, he's going to start to work his shin inside, and now I'm not past the knee again. So we're here. So the smash press isn't working. So here's the footwork. I'm going to shuffle to my right, force his left knee to the floor, and then I want to squat down and kind of put my shin on top of this leg. So here's him. Right here. See that shit has his right leg? It's not in between my uh, knee and elbow. I'm owning this space right here. If I do this footwork and he's able to do this, now the knee cut is kind of gone. I can keep trying to knee cut, but I have to do some extra work because now this knee is in front of me. So now I have to battle the knee again. Before I was already past the knee. So now I just gotta smash the hips. And now I'm in side control. So we're here, hooking. When should wiper step in? I'm trying to smash, it's not worsening. So slow motion. Right here. Okay. Now from here, I actually like to just put my knee on the floor and keep this foot behind. Okay. This is a little insurance policy that'll come in to play afterward. And you'll, you'll, hopefully if we have enough time, we'll get to it. Then once I'm in this position right here, I want to drop chest to chest, work to get my underhook. Okay, scoop up the near side elbow. Right. And then I want to drive my hip through, right? So I'm not worried about like, uh, bring my foot over top, I just drag my hip through. So I call it like, a, some people, they call it like a baseball slide pass, right? Because you're like sliding into home base, okay? And then I can switch my base and end up in a nice whatever kind of side control that I like. Okay. The big thing is making sure that I have that underhook as I start to knee cut, okay? If I forget about it, as I knee cut and he has the underhook, he can take my back right up on top in like a dogfight position, very similar to what we did last week. So we're here. Right here, I try to smash right away. Boom, knee cut. Drop the chest down, make sure I have the underhook or at least have his elbow in front of my chest. See, it's the same thing as an underhook. If his elbow is behind my chest, I need to make sure that I'm underneath it. Okay, but if it's here, I just keep his elbow in front of my chest. That's the same thing as an underhook. Scoop up the near side elbow, bring the hip through, and then I can switch my base. Hooks guard, okay. can't, I can't pass his guard this way. I can't go left, I can't go right. Okay, so I gotta, okay, perfect. Now I, I kind of like own the middle a little bit. So now I have the option of going whatever way I want. So we try to smash, it doesn't work. Inside, force the knee down, shuffle, 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 drop my level. That's super slow motion. Drop my chest, work for my underhook, scoop the near side elbow out kick my hip through, and then I can switch my base, and then I can fight this battle here from side control. Okay. One more time. Windshield wiper, go to smash, knee cut. Okay, any questions?
Alright, that's work. Alright, so the last one now. Okay, so now we're gonna do the X pass. Okay, again, either one of these three, you can start right off. As soon as you get the head quarter, boom, you can do this X pass. As soon as you get the head quarter, you can knee cut right away. Doesn't matter which one you do first. Okay, they all work, work together. Okay, so here, boom, 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 right here. Okay, so now like I feel like maybe like I don't feel the smash is there. I don't feel like the knee cut is there. Okay, so I'm gonna just bypass this leg entirely. Okay, so we're here. All right, nice, good position, head quarter position. Watch, wow. outside leg is gonna baby step. Okay, now I'm gonna lean all my weight onto that foot and I'm gonna shift my hip. Okay, allows my inside leg to be super, super light. I wanna kick the ceiling, pushes me across just a bit, and then I'm gonna find knee the belly. Okay, so we're here like this, right? So baby step, lean all my body weight, kick my leg back, pushes knee, and then the knee comes inside. Finds the belly position, and now we're right here. So I still have the hand on the knee, and I still have my hand like on the hip or rib area. So that's what I call an X pass. Your, your hands are kind of in a little X position. And then from there, you don't have to keep it there. You can drop into side control, or you can slide your knee to, to the mouth. It's fine, no worries. Okay, you can kind of like, there's some cool little your side arm bars you can catch right off the bat right here. Okay. So it's just an X pass. Boom, boom, we're here. Yeah, baby step, kick. Very important that I kick this leg as high as I can. That's why we do the scorpion walk as, as one of our warm-ups. It's developing that kind of flexibility where you can kick your leg really, really high. Boom, baby step, kick. Good. Okay, so this one, I'm not really smashing his legs one way or the other. I'm just kind of getting this knee out of the way just a bit so that I can bring my leg right in front of it. Okay, this is kind of like, this is a little bit more of like a, a fast pass, right? This one's not as like slow and gritty like the smash pass or the knee cut, where there's like spots where you kind of stop and you kind of cook them and you maintain that position. This one's a little bit more dynamic. So we're here, boom, 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 boom. Right there, okay? Knee on belly, knee on hip, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be an exact spot, but that's the position we're in here, here. okay? Kickstand is a little bit far away. I don't want to get to knee to belly and I'd be right here. All right, gives them access to this leg. Okay, weird things can happen. Okay, so I want to have that leg kind of out like a kickstand. Right here. Kick. Right here. Yeah, the back. I can drop into side control if I want to. I can slide my knee to the mouth and control them right here. Doesn't matter. Okay, right. one more time. Very simple. How they all kind of like work together, right? The, the knee cut, right? I go to smash, it doesn't work. I go to knee cut, it doesn't work. I go to smash again, and then I just bypass the leg. And he thinks I'm gonna try to smash, but really I'm just doing a little shuck and jive. So that's why they all work together. One doesn't work, one doesn't work. Try the first one again, and then you can try that third one maybe. Right here. Cool, questions? Okay, let's work.